Hello everyone, how are you today? So this is the 2nd of April and this is on Happy Friday. And this is a recorded video, this is not a live stream, because I decided to take a video today because the market has been ranging, retracing. So briefly I will explain what to do when the markets are retracing and what you can expect as a next scenario by taking a couple of charts as examples. So before starting here, just a quick disclaimer, this information on this video is basically based on my own understanding experience. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk management. So um, for example, um, let's see, I see a couple of uh, trending or like a trending momentum down or up, but the, uh, the directions are ranging flat. So for example, let me take this uh, euro pound as example. So right now, this is a daily chart and we see Kumo's flat, Kumo Sen Kospan B flat, A flat, and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen both flat right now. But Chikou Span below the candles and price is below the Tenkan Kijun Kumo. So this is bearish. So in a daily chart basis, I expect the market to go bearish on this reverse in the wave consecutively like this way. But looks like the market is just ranging right now or retracing so uh, what to do in this condition and what i usually do and what you i usually think about when i see this market is i look at the lower time frame um, for example i look at the one hour chart i look at the one hour chart and as you can see it's been ranging but um i see one hour chart and expect when the market will be go bearish on this one hour chart so when the market will be bearish in one hour chart is when of course the kumo goes down and kijun sen goes down and chikou span breaks the candles and in this condition um this is a bit tricky because technically the kijun sen and tenkan sen is gold crossing so let me uh, let me cancel the cancel six. So you can clearly see that the uh, the tenkan sen kijun sen gold crossing. So we have to wait until the dead cross, and then the kumo should go down and chikou span go down, and that will be a good chance to look for a sell, selling edge when it happens. But now technically, the kijun sen tenkan sen gold crossing. So this is not the good timing to look for sell. So, um, but that's a scenario in one hour chart. But uh, when I see range in market like this on the daily of four, uh, this is what I think in my head. So I do nothing, meaning I don't take trades in this condition, but in my head, I create a scenario, the next possible scenario for the setting chance. So, uh, one hour chart once again is flat so I will pass this one and also I check the 30 minute time frame so I check the 30 minute time frame and 30 looks uh, this is also flat also but uh, the Kumo is bearish uh, sorry the Kumo is bullish in this case so we have to wait for the Kumo twist bearish and the Kijun Sen should point down and Chikou Span should go down this way as the market as the actual market goes down this way and then I look for the sell chance so that's the Ichimoku scenario and of course in this case there is a weak low from yesterday so uh, the price might still be supported at this level or in this area in between this uh, support zone it's over here so the price could still range like this until it breaks the clear uh, weak low at this 0 0.8492 so um, but anyhow uh, the market should go down and Ichimoku lines should show bearish on this one or 30 minute time frame otherwise uh, we cannot take trace so that's what I think about in my head and watch charts so let me pick up other pair let's see what about um, dollar JPY? 
So Dollar JPY in the daily chart looks to still uptrending. The Kumo's up, Kijun Sen up, and Chikou's bottom above. So this is still bullish. So simply in this case, I wait for the one hour to go bullish also. And here I see one hour chart is flat also. Uh, because the Kumo flat, Kumo is now bearish. So you have to wait for the Kumo to turn bullish. And then the Kijun Sen should go above and point upwards like this and then the Chikou span should come above the candles as the price goes up like this then look for the buy chance or you basically wait for the clear break of the resistance at this 110.95 um, then um, you look for buy chance afterwards that could be a scenario and with this scenario in your head you just monitor the charts or in this case I think uh, I think for the market to happen like this, it, it will take a couple of hours, I guess. So you can just come back charts maybe uh, one hour, two hours later and see if uh, the, one of these scenarios have uh, taken place. So um, let me talk about the pound JPY also. This was a topic from yesterday, live stream, but pound JPY still looks to be uptrending. The Kumo is nicely up and bullish. It's got a nice thickness to it, and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen up, and Chikou Span above the candles. So now we have the daily uh, Doji candle forming. So um, I check one hour chart, and in one hour chart, this looks to be bullish still. This is bullish, so I expect the market go up on this bullish new wave like this. Looks like the market was um, sort of supported by the Kijun Sen so this was the thing that I talked about yesterday in this case pound JPY one hour chart I focus on this Kijun Sen bounce so that looks like the now Kijun Sen bounce happened today and the market looks to be on bullish new wave continuously however if the market breaks the Kijun Sen and gets into the Kumo then um, no trade because this is the sign of the range for Ichimoku on this one hour chart so when it happens then no trade well as per price action this is the sign of uh, head and shoulders if the market breaks the neckline so here's the neckline 152.74 level and when it breaks that will become a head and shoulders and the price might retrace backwards afterwards and from Ichimoku stand of, standpoint of view also the price is going into the Kumo so you know that this is not the good timing to buy anymore nor sell because this is now just ranging retracing so we have to look at the daily chart when it happens and see if daily chart still shows up trending or not so but with this kind of scenarios in your, in your head you monitor the charts you basically monitor charts like this way when it's ranging and when the market goes towards your scenario then you look for the trading edges otherwise no trades so um, yeah so let me screen the daily pairs uh, so euro usd is now retracing backwards and euro aud is also ranging flat euro pound is also flat right now ranging euro jpy is this is still flat also kijun sen flat Kumo looks to be flat also. Chikou span uh, technically above the candles, but this is flat and in its direction. And let me focus on the trending ones. Um, USC Swiss run is also retracing. Now Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So yesterday uh, there, there was a engulfing. This is inside bar for today's candlestick. So we better wait for the breakout in this case. And pound AUD is uptrending, but yesterday there was a long wick pointing upwards and looks like it was resisted at this previous high of uh, 1.822 um, well, level. Looks like there was a resistance. So this is too bullish, but uh, you have to see this bullishness also in one hour chart or a 30 minute time frame. And now if you look at one hour chart, uh, this is ranging, Kumo flat, just twist it and this is too tiny 
and the, the price is in the Kumo here and Chikou span is uh, still too close with the candles so this is ranging so we have to again create a scenario of uprending and when it happens you look for the buy chance meaning if the Kumo twist bullish again then uh, and a Kijun Sen goes up and Chikou span breaks the candles and then you start to look for buy chance otherwise the market might still be in a range or it might be trace and it might go against the major direction on the daily chart so uh, yeah and let me briefly touch on this uh, AUD USD and the daily chart yeah this was also very tricky uh, but Kumo is down uh, Kijun Sen down, Tenkan Sen down and Chikou Span below the candles but Technically, yesterday there was a long week pointing downwards, so clearly there was a support at this uh, 0 0.7564 level, and now it's retracing backwards. So, because daily chart is downtrending, uh, I would look for the sell chance. I will continue to look for the sell chance on this particular pair too. And looking at the one hour chart, uh, the Kumo is now flat. Once again, everything is flat, so basically. I wait for the market to go down and Kumo should twist bearish and the Kijun Sen should point down and Chikou Span should come below the candles and look for the sell chance. But if it doesn't happen, then basically I stay away from this kind of pair. So yeah, so this is basically what I think about the market when it's retracing. So I recommend you to do nothing when it's ranging but to do nothing means doesn't mean that you have nothing to do of course when it's ranging also you are, there are things to do to create the scenarios like this in lower time frames to expect which way the market goes and once the market goes towards your expected direction then you get ready to take trades so that's what I want to talk about today. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please press a good button before you leave. And I will see you on the next video or live stream. So have a great Friday. And until I see you next time, please healthy and stay gold. All right. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.